we would tell people, we're going to make a movie. Oh, yeah, in Pittsburgh? Give me a break over here. The film got hot in France, and then a few of the critics that had slammed on it here noticed that the French were noticing it, and they decided to notice it. And, you know, within three years, it was in the Museum of Modern Art. And I'm going, what? <laughs> that was it. Everyone struggled through it. Everyone stuck with it. None of the actors quit on us. I mean, you know, there were no protections going either way, contracts or anything like that. We were just a bunch of people that were getting together and making a movie. And, you know, it was all beg, borrow, and steal, real guerrilla stuff. And, you know, somebody painted the police cars with the, the name of the town and... You know, it was just all pitch in and, and do it. It was like a picnic. We lived in that farmhouse, a bunch of us, six or seven of us, just would sleep in that old farmhouse. The protagonists are in a situation that they could probably easily solve if they would stop fighting among themselves. I do think that, you know, pettiness and, you know, whether, well, in some cases not pettiness, in some cases, you know, whether it's religious or ethnic or whatever, tribalism keeps people from the end goal. People have written about these films and say, well, if you really look deep underneath, you'll find these things. And I don't think they're deep underneath at all. They're sort of right there in your face, right up front. But first and foremost, these are horror movies. They're thrillers. Horror, fantasy has always been a way to, uh, you know, get your views through. They're, it's, they're parables. 